<laughs> now we're moving on to Hi Bang Lie. Bang! Let's go. Let's see Bang's shots here with the Nifty 50 for the 50, Nifty 50 challenge. So this one here, again, 50 mil, nice portrait lens. Nice and sharp, it's versatile, it's, it's a good focal, uh, sorry, uh, good focal length to uh, capture people naturally. It's great. So this one here was the Rebel T5i. Uh, this one he's using the 40 mil. Uh, so this is the 40 mil prime, I do believe, the uh, f2.8. Very, uh, very close to the 50 mil, just ever so slightly wider. Not, uh, not that big of a deal. Kim used the 55, that's close enough. Uh, Bang used the 40, that's close enough. You know, we'll allow it. Not a big deal. Um, and uh, this, you know, the 40 mil is just ever so slightly wider, so you you will get a little bit of distortion compared to the 50. Is it noticeable? Probably not. Not a big deal. Um, but again, like the 50 mil, it's a prime, so it's going to be you're, you're going to uh, see probably more sharpness to your images. Uh, uh, they're going to be a little bit more inexpensive. The fixed focal length cam uh, camera lenses. And typically, you can uh, open up that aperture a little bit more for a fixed focal length. A, uh, uh, a fixed focal length uh, aperture, uh, low aperture, is usually more easily obtained than a zoom low aperture. So if you uh, try to get a you know, f2.8 70 to 200, you'll find that they're about two grand versus a 40 mil, which is probably only a few hundred bucks. So, uh, anyways, let's fire into this one here. So this one is f2.8 1 over 125 ISO 800. Full manual, good job. And look at the, see again, look at the sharpness, the detail here. Um, uh, nice nice shot right by the window if you're gonna get, uh, if you're gonna go for shooting a portrait. Good start is to is to place them by a window. Let in that natural light, uh, let them hit them on an angle. This is really nice. It's hitting her on the, the on uh, uh, the back angle here of the face. Um, and uh, that's usually a really good place to position the sunlight. And at 1 over 125, it's enough to freeze the action here. Um, it's great. I love the expression on her face. Yeah, that is fantastic. And look at all the detail in the hair here. F2.8, that's a great focal length, uh, sorry, aperture to set at uh, if you're going to capture candid shots of a single person. Less likely to get them out of focus. Um, and uh, and you still get, you'll still get enough blurring of the background to isolate the subject. Nicely done. Good freezing of the action here, nicely composed, and this works really well as a black and white. So here we go, Henry. This is Henry version 4872. Bang, you've gone through a lot of Henrys. So here is one over 40. Okay, one over 40, a little on the slow side, but uh, for capturing action, especially for capturing a toddler that's gonna be running around, ballsy though. That's okay, that's perfectly fine. You could probably bump that up speed that up and then uh you lose a little bit of light so bump the iso to compensate that's the only thing just a safeguard against possibly getting a blurry image but not the case here nice and sharp focus on henry here on his eyes here uh looks ever so slightly soft but from back here not a big deal at all uh for the most part got him in focus backgrounds out of focus nicely composed um yeah good good shot there and the two come together. So two shots here. Uh, here is you know, this is what I was talking about a couple of challenges ago, uh, a couple of videos ago. I can't remember whose critique it was. When uh, you're doing a portrait for a single person, f2.8 is safe to do because yeah, that's that's a good uh, that's a good aperture to pick for a single person. If you're going to be capturing more than one person, try to avoid the 2.8 because look at here. These uh, Henry is closer to the camera than she is. So at 2.8, you're not going to get both of them in focus. So if you're trying to shoot more than one person in focus, uh, bump up the the, uh, the f-stop. Try to sh uh, try to go for a higher one to widen out that depth of field. So you're guaranteed to get them all uh, in focus. Otherwise, if at, at 2.8, they've all got to be more or less the exact same distance from uh, from <clears throat> the camera. So here, that's not the case. So you've got Henry in focus. She's out of focus. Um, uh, not a big deal. He, you know, the, the eye is going to go towards Henry here. But here, it'd be really good if you got both of them in focus, captured that moment, both of them together. Uh, 5.6, 7.1 would uh, uh, even like uh, 6.3 maybe would be a better area to uh, to set your f-stop to to get both of them here. 
um, uh, you you get more of the background in focus a little bit, but that's fine because you'll get both of them, uh, both of their faces, their facial features in focus. That's what's going to grab the eye, and that'll make for a really good portrait of the two of them together. So that's the only thing. If you're going to uh, shoot one or one or more, uh, two or more people, uh, bump that f stop up. That's the only thing I got to say about that. One of our eighty, uh, everything else, it's properly exposed uh, here, and you know Henry looks great here. Um, and you've got, uh, it's, it, you've got it nice and it's composed nicely. You got the camera right in on both of them there. Lovely expression, lovely moment that you've captured. Good on you. Uh, what else you got here? And that's it. Those are three great, great shots. Thank you so much. And that's it from Bang. Thank you so very much for submitting this week, Bang. Really appreciate the shots that you sent. Uh, and, uh, yeah, can't wait to see what you come up with next week. See you later.